what's going on guys thanks for clicking on the video just wanted to show you my way that I preserve these wild leeks picked these yesterday also known as ramps today we're going to be doing an oil so it's going to be a flavored oil reason why I like the oils is because not only do you get to eat the actual leek itself after you have that oil whether you want to do a liter two liters whatever it is you have that oil infused with all that wonderful flavor that these provide and first things first we're just going to show you guys how to clean them and prepare them so first off to clean these guys I already ran them under some cold water that's just to get most of the dirt off but now all you gotta do is you're gonna see a little skin here it's purple pink sometimes they're just all white you're gonna just take it kinda pull it back till you get that pressed up against the root and then simply just cut that right off then you're gonna have what looks clean but you're actually gonna find a lot of grit and sand in there and we're just gonna rinse those off once I get through all these guys you can even use your knife but the hands are a lot more delicate you don't wanna scuff these guys up so I'm gonna get done with these guys and then next clip is gonna be me showing you how to cut them and how to trim them. Alright guys, sorry you can't see my face, I am self filming so I just have it on a tilt right now with the tripod. So all I did was trim these guys up, sorry wash these guys up really good. I got in that little crevice there that all the sand likes to hide in. Now I'm just going to line them up roughly, they don't have to be perfect. And just where it stops being green or where the green comes up from just cut them right there don't throw these guys out these are very edible as well we're gonna save them for another recipe and there you have it this is all we want for our oil and now so now since they're a little wet still we're just going to put them on a clean towel paper towel whatever you guys got and just pat them dry then you're gonna get a plate this is just regular salt guys make a nice layer on the bottom and you're just gonna lay your leeks flat just like that then right on top you really want a good amount of salt because you're trying to draw all that moisture or at least sixty percent of that moisture that's what's going to preserve it and that oil is also going to preserve it as well so now I'd recommend at the least keep this for probably three to four hours last year I did do it for even 12 hours and uh, that worked well they just got a little more dry which is fine but since I'm going to be using this oil within the next probably five six months three four hours is fine and uh, we're just going to let that chill out All right, guys, so just to speed up the process, these are the ones we just salted. They still got about three hours to go. Then I did these guys about three hours ago. And now all we're going to do is take them out of the salt, just like so. We're going to put them in colander. I'm doing this outdoors. You could, if you're in your kitchen, just do it in your sink. And then just rinse them with some cold water just like that now very important step here before going into your oil so as I was saying very important step guys before going into your oil as most of us know, <coughs> excuse me, oil and water do not mix well, so this is when it matters. You're really going to want to get these guys bone dry. These guys are pretty good now. Now, all we're going to do, get a clean jar, 
and drop these guys right in like so. I'm using olive oil today. You guys could use canola oil, veg oil, but really feel like olive oil is the best for this. And you're simply going to pour it right over. And that's it guys. Pop the lid. Now storing this, you're going to want to wait at least, I'd say maybe a month or two before you actually use it. Let all that flavor really infuse. And uh, what I did last year it really works in all my other infused oils I've done. In my cover, completely dark spot. With, uh, it doesn't have to be like temperature controlled or anything, but more than likely it's going to be room temp. So this will stay for as long as you need it to. But since it's olive oil, I would recommend using it within six, seven, eight months. Pizza, pasta, whatever you guys want. It's oil. You could use it that way. And you guys also have the leak itself to use. You could fry it. I use it in uh, when I'm making eggs. I fry a little bit of that and I use the oil as well. Put it on your burgers, anything guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll have a video on actually collecting these ramps and where to get them. Really appreciate it guys. If you could like and subscribe, you guys are going to see a lot more content. Thanks.